Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's Witness. Uh, Shirley's here with me today, and we're talking about evangelism and the Great Commission, uh, the fact that we've been called by Jesus to be his witnesses to a lost and dying world. As we talked about last week, to have compassion and then to be courageous to speak up. And you know, Jesus, after he gave the commission, uh, said this to his disciples in Acts 1.8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So he acknowledged that we needed power to do what he had called us to do, and we've been given that power as Christians. We have the Holy Spirit living within us. Uh, tell us about this book you've been reading. It sounds yeah. great. It's called Stay Salt, mm. and it's by Rebecca Manley Pippard. Great book. I highly recommend it. And I just wanted to share this week uh, from one of the chapters, just a few points. Um, she starts out by saying, you know, our world was forever changed by the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. It was also forever changed by an event that happened a few weeks after Jesus ascended. And that was during a Jewish festival called Pentecost. And during that time, Jesus sent his Holy Spirit to fill his followers. And all of a sudden, common, everyday, mm. normal people like you and me began to turn the world upside down mm. with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. They had, they had boldness. Uh, I, if you look at those stories in Acts uh, 3 and 4 and just realize the courage that they demonstrated as they spoke, it was beyond their natural ability. And so we're talking about the work of the Spirit that goes beyond our inadequacies and makes us adequate, gives us the power we need to do what God's called us to do. Yeah. And this is the same Holy Spirit that causes a new birth to happen in our lives when we come to Christ. Uh, the same Holy Spirit that transforms us and begins to make us into the likeness of Christ. The same Holy Spirit that gives us the power to share the gospel and to strengthen our witness for Christ. Um, Acts 1.8 reminds us that you will receive power when? When the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. That word witness is a noun. Mm -hmm. It's who we are, not just what we do. Yes, it is what we do, but it's ultimately part of our identity when we become Christians. Oh, I tell you, if we look in the mirror and we look at ourselves and see that we are more than what we think we are, that God has declared us to be his ministers of reconciliation, uh, his ambassadors representing him to this world, and he's given us the power of the Spirit to be able to do that. Uh, that is who we are, and oh, that we would be that yeah. uh, even today. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, she writes, knowing that God is the power in evangelism sets us free from fear because evangelism is not something we do alone. Mm -hmm. Great reminder. Yeah. And when we ask for boldness, we're reminded that we're not simply just sharing information. So it doesn't have to do with us being brilliant or clever with a way to share the gospel, but it's us being real and allowing the Holy Spirit to give us the words to say and to open blind eyes. We can't do that, but God can. Amen. And chooses to use us. That's what's amazing. I know, he could do it all himself, mm -hmm. and yet he chooses to use us as his people uh, to represent him in this world. Mm -hmm. uh, he declared us to be salt, to be light, uh, to be a redeeming influence. And today we can be that. Wherever the Lord sends us, uh, we can be discerning and the Spirit will help us to know when to speak up, uh, when to give a witness. So let's pray for ourselves that today we'll be available uh, and intentional and ready to give an answer if someone were to ask and uh, to do the work of an evangelist. So let's pray that we'll do that today. Yeah, let's pray. Uh, Lord, thank you for giving us your spirit. Forgive us when we forget. Today, Holy Spirit, fill us. Give us courage, 
and compassion to be your witnesses. And now, offer your prayers. God bless you.